So let's talk about flying your drone at night. We know we can do that, but what about in controlled airspace? Can you do it? Does it matter if you're 107 or recreational? Let's find out. Hey guys, thanks for stopping by. My name is Keith and this is Alien Drones. If you've not been here before, I do technology, drone tech, tips and tutorials, and industry news. If that's something that might interest you, you might want to hit that subscribe now. That'll let you know when there's updates that might be of interest to you. So let's agree, flying your drone at night is freaking cool. There's pics, video, long exposures, all kinds of fun things you can do that look amazing. If you're not in controlled airspace, then of course there's some basic things you need to know about flying at night. And of course I did a video on that and I'll put that up here and a link in the description so you can browse through that. Make sure you're following all those things as well. But for right now, we're gonna talk about flying at night in controlled airspace. Now, whether you're flying as 107 pilot or recreational does make a difference. So what we're gonna do is we're going to start off with 107. Because in December, they came out with a rule that was the operations over people rule that of course covered flying at night. Wait a minute. So FAA, maybe you should start with something simple like naming your rules something that makes sense. I don't know, name it something like the operation at night rule. Just saying. So let's start with the 107 certified pilots first. And don't worry, we'll come back to the recreational and hobbyist uh, shortly after this. Uh, so first, of course, to fly as the 107 pilot at night in controlled airspace, of course, you've got to be certified and it's got to be current. And the recurrent has to be after the April 6th date, which that included the nighttime information so that you're, you're trained on the information to fly at night. So if your training is uh, earlier than that, or you want to go take that, it's free now, which is really cool. And I did a whole video on that. I'll put that link up here in the description for you. So if you want to find out about getting your recurrent, uh, you can follow up with that. Also, of course, you need to follow the basic rules I talked about before in that video. Uh, that's going to cover the lighting and what you need to do. So, of course, you're going to have to follow those basic rules as well. Next, now, in airports with the LANCE available, of course, you're going to apply for the LANCE authorization for that controlled airspace. And there's the rub. Right now, if you use LANCE uh, using one of your favorite apps, whether it's uh, AirMap or Kitty Hawk or any of the other ones, and you try to authorize for a night flight, it will be rejected. So what you'll need to do is two things. One, you'll need to authorize for the daylight hours of the day that you want to fly at night. So that means, let's say you're gonna to wanna to fly on the 15th at 10 p.m. You're going to want to apply for a daylight waiver during those daylight hours uh, for that day. Then, you're going to go to the link and I'll put that link up here and in the description as well. And there's going to be a national authorization letter in there from the FAA. You're gonna to wanna to print that out and you're gonna to wanna to take it with you. Now this national authorization extends the time that you're going to be able to fly from your regular authorization of your controlled airspace. So between having the Lance authorization and this letter, you will now be legal to fly in controlled airspace at night. And that's it. Easy peasy, right? One thing to keep in mind is if you are going to fly past midnight into the next day, you're going to need separate authorizations from the Lance for the 15th and the 16th, for instance, if you're gonna fly at uh, 11 p.m. and you're gonna fly again at 1 a.m., it's the next day. So make sure your Lance authorization is for the day, the date that you're going to be flying at night and then that authorization will take you through those nighttime hours. So that's well and good if you have Lance available, but of course all airports don't have Lance, and in that case you still can apply for a manual waiver. You go to the drone zone and you're gonna to have to go through the authorization, the 107 section, fill that all out. Of course, that is a manual process, so that's not gonna be the immediate like the uh, Lance is. So make sure you take that into account into your planning if you're planning on doing that and your airport doesn't have Lance. So that's well and good until the fall of 2021. Then what happens? Well, I have it on good authority from the FAA that indeed the Lance will be updated to allow flights to be authorized, not only during the daylight hours, but in the evening hours as well. It'll be automatic. So if you want to fly at 10 o'clock PM, you'll be able to put that time in there. And indeed you will become authorized. 
Doesn't get any easier than that. It'll just work. So what about recreational pilots? Well, unfortunately, uh, this process will not cover recreational or hobbyist pilots through the fall of 2021, which means as of right now, there is no way to get authorized and be legal flying at night in controlled airspace. Just can't happen. Now, after fall of 2021, I did reach out to the FAA and unfortunately they did give me a very non-committal answer. That said, it is still to be determined, which is unfortunate uh, because it would have been nice if they said no, it would be included for everybody, but they didn't. So it kind of seems like they're leaning towards not allowing it, but we won't know for sure. So that being the case, make sure you subscribe because when that happens, I will update the comments here and I might even do another video on it to uh, show how that authorization will work in the Lance with the Recreation or 107. Also, if I could ask for your assistance with something, I would appreciate it. And that is, I would ask for you to share this video. Not only will that simply help other pilots know how to fly in controlled airspace at night, but I'm trying something in analytics, so I would really appreciate your help if you would do that. Don't forget to leave your comments below if you have questions for the FAA or anything like that. I do read all the comments, so I'll be sure to follow up if there's something that I need to ask the FAA. So that's it. Till next time, hang loose and good flying.